The situation in the Bakhmut direction of the front continues to deteriorate rapidly for the armed forces of Ukraine. In particular, after the capture of the village of Krasnoy, Russian troops significantly intensified offensive operations in the eastern part of the Chase of Yar. Moreover, war correspondents and numerous Western analytical centers have recognized the fact that the Russian army is already fighting on the eastern outskirts of the city. At the moment, everything that is happening on the battlefield indicates that the Chase of Yar is turning into the main place of fighting in the zone of a special military operation. The fact that the capture of the Chase of Yar became the main goal for the Russians at this stage of the war was recognized by many military experts and analysts. Now, all the attention of military experts and war correspondents is on Chase of Yar. Moreover, the commander of the 26th Artillery Brigade of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, Oleg Kalashnikov, answering journalists' questions, did not hide his emotions, describing the seriousness of the situation near Chase of Yar. In particular, he said that Russian troops were storming all settlements in the direction of the Chase of Yar, including the positions of the armed forces of Ukraine in the area of Kleshtyevka and Andreevka. A senior officer of the Ukrainian army also noted that Russia has significantly increased the number of missile strikes against military facilities of the armed forces of Ukraine, located in Chasev Yar and its surroundings. In the end, he called on the Ukrainian authorities to significantly strengthen the grouping of the armed forces of Ukraine in Chasev Yar, since the loss of this city would put neighboring Konstantinovka in a very dangerous position. By the way, the day after this interview with the Ukrainian senior officer, the Russian army, with the help of Iskander ballistic missiles, launched a pinpoint strike on military facilities of the armed forces of Ukraine in the area of Chase of Yar. Moreover, information was also confirmed that Russian ballistic missiles hit a six-story underground command post of the Ukrainian army. As it turned out, an hour before the Russian missile strike, high-ranking NATO officers arrived there. They were representatives of the Polish and U.S. armies. It is reported that these high-ranking NATO officers led the defensive actions of the armed forces of Ukraine in Chase of Yar. According to preliminary data, all high-ranking NATO officers in this underground command post were destroyed. Moreover, some Ukrainian, Russian, and Polish telegram channels linked the recent sudden death of Polish General Adam Marczak precisely to the Russian missile strike on the underground command post in the area of Chase of Yar. However, many authoritative Russian military experts referring to their own sources in the Russian military department said that the Polish general was eliminated on March 24 in the Ukrainian city of Stray as a result of a missile attack on the secret NATO staging airfield, specially created for US F-16 fighter jets. Let me remind you that back then, as a result of a missile strike by Kinzhal hypersonic missiles, this airfield was completely destroyed along with 15 high-ranking NATO officers. They were mostly Polish officers. And in my opinion, Russian experts are right in their conclusions, since there has been detected high activity of the Polish military on the border of western Ukraine in the past few days. By the way, I have a video on this topic on my channel, where I described in detail the moment of the destruction of the NATO staging airfield in the city of Stray. Those of you who have not seen this video yet, be sure to watch it. The link to this video will be pinned in the comment section.
Returning to the topic of the death of the Polish general, it is worth noting that the Polish Ministry of Defense continues to claim that General Adam Marczak died unexpectedly of natural causes. However, despite this, his body has not yet been released to his relatives. Well, my friends, as you can see, even though the NATO leadership carefully hides its losses in Ukraine, hiding from the public the numbers and names of its soldiers and officers who died, some information still continues to leak. According to preliminary data, during the entire war, unlike other NATO countries, the United States, Poland, and France lost in Ukraine the largest number of their active high-ranking officers. Unfortunately, all data on the losses of Western armies in Ukraine are strictly classified. Most likely, we will find out the real casualty numbers only a few years after the end of this war.